I don't believe in breaks because I want to understand my team. I want to understand my players. You know, you get your two, three months of the IPL. That's enough for you to rest, you know, as a coach. There's no harm in identifying a new T20 captain. And if his name is Hardik Pandya, so be it. He's the fastest bowler, one of the fastest bowlers in India. You saw what happened in the World Cup where genuine pace rattled opposition. Uh, with this team as head coach for quite a long time. Uh, now the support staff is also uh, taking breaks as in uh, uh, are they also having a workload management? But uh, because I don't question. remember no, when no. you were there. Very good question. I don't believe in breaks because I want to understand my team. I want to understand my players and I want to then be in control of that team. You know, these uh, breaks, I mean, what do you need breaks for that many breaks, to be honest? You know, you get your two, three months of the IPL. That's enough for you to rest, you know, as a coach. But other uh, other times, I think a coach should be hands-on, whoever he is. Mran Malik has been named in the T20I squad. So do you think an express tearway pacer should be included in India's T20I squad going forward uh, in the build-up to the 2024 World Cup? He's the fastest bowler, one of the fastest bowlers in India. You saw what happened in the World Cup where genuine pace rattled opposition. Whether it was Harris Rao from Pakistan or Naseem Shah, or whether it was, uh, you know, uh, for, for uh, uh, Australia, you had some of the fastest, uh, Enric Nokia playing for South Africa. You know, what he did, he ended up being one of the uh, uh, highest uh, wicket takers in the tournament. So there's no substitute for genuine pace. The current team management had been talking about uh, change in approach and change in template as far as the T20 uh, cricket is concerned. Uh, what has changed? Uh, since the current regime took over from you and Virat uh, in terms of coaching and uh, uh, and the captain, if you have to point out. I would like to go there or point out anything, but there's an opportunity with this team in the future to do exactly like what you're saying. You know, identifying, uh, you know, roles for players, identifying match winners and going, uh, you know, pretty much on the template of England because they are one team that really caught the bull by the horns after the uh, you know 2016 World Cup and they, and they went and they sat down and said, we are going to change our resources. I think for T20 cricket, there, there's no, no harm in having a new captain because the volume of cricket is such for one player to play all three formats of the game is never going to be easy. So, you know, it will take, uh, if uh, Rohit is already leading in one days and test matches, you know, there's no harm in identifying a new T20 captain. And if his name is Hardik Pandya, so be it.